in this example we're trying to calculate how much energy a turbine is generating on a small hydroelectric scheme. So we've got a reservoir at the top of a hill. The water surface of the reservoir is 40 metres above the discharge point of the system where water is flowing at 0.3 metres cubed per second and we're trying to work out how much energy this turbine on the end of the pipe is generating from this 40 metres of head. So the place we're going to start is with Bernoulli's equation. So we know that the energy at point one plus the pressure head at point one plus the velocity head at point one minus the losses in the system equals the final energy at point number two. So the elevation at two plus the pressure head at two plus the velocity head at two. So that is our normal form of Bernoulli's equation. But in this example, we've also got a turbine. And this turbine is going to be extracting energy from the flow and turning it into power. So we're going to have to add an extra term, a minus delta H, which is going to minus pressure head from our initial energy, because this turbine is going to be taking energy out of the system. The other thing that we need to remember when we're solving these problems is that the amount of power that's generated by a turbine can be given by the pumping equation so the power generated by a turbine is the density of water times gravity times the flow rate of the system times the amount of energy the turbine has extracted from the flow times by the efficiency of the turbine so the final answer in terms of the power that our turbine is generating is going to be given by this equation but we're first going to need to use Bernoulli's equation to work out how much energy the turbine has extracted from the flow. So before we look at Bernoulli's equation it will be useful for us to work out what the velocity in the system is so we know that Q is equal to UA so our velocity is going to be Q over A. We're told that our flow rate is 0.3 meters cubed per second and we're given the pipe diameter, so the area of the pipe will be pi r squared, so pi times by the diameter over 2 squared, which gives us a velocity in the system of 1.53 metres per second. So that's going to be useful in solving Bernoulli's equation. We can now apply Bernoulli's equation between point number 1 at the water surface and point number 2 as the water exits the pipe. So we can look at the system and we can say that at the surface of this reservoir pressure is going to be zero because we're at atmospheric pressure. Velocity we can assume is zero because the velocity of water at the surface of this tank is going to be negligible compared to the velocity of the water in the pipe. At point number two, elevation is zero because we're at our datum, we're at the base of the system. Pressure is going to be zero because we're discharging to atmosphere. So all of our energy is going to be in velocity head. So what this gives us is elevation at 1 minus our losses minus the energy that our turbine is extracting from the flow equals our velocity head at 2. So what we can do in order to be able to work out the power the turbine is generating we can rearrange the equation for delta H. So we can say that delta H equals the equals the elevation at 1 minus losses minus our velocity head at 2. So if we think about what our losses are going to be in this system we're going to have losses due to friction so F times L over D times U squared over 2G. We're also told in the question that we have a local loss so we'll have a local loss at the exit from the tank which will be K u squared over 2g and then we'll have a final u squared over 2g term on the end of that equation. So if we plug the numbers into that equation z1 is 40 meters. We're told that the friction factor in the question is 0.02 meters. The length of the pipe we're given in the question is 100 meters. The pipe diameter 
we're told is 0.5 meters times our u squared over 2g so 1.53 meters per second squared over 2g minus our local loss we're told in the question the local loss coefficient is 0.75 and that's again times u squared over 2g minus our final u squared over 2g and once we've plugged the numbers into that equation what we end up with is a delta h of 39 meters so what that answer is telling us is that the flow is that the turbine is extracting 39 meters of pressure head from the flow so we start out with an energy at point number one we have losses in the pipe the turbine then extracts 39 meters of energy from the flow and then we're left with uh, our flow of 1.53 meters per second as a velocity and a flow of 0.3 meters cubed per second coming out of that pipe so now we've worked out how much energy the turbine has extracted from the system we can just plug that number into the turbine equation so density of water is 1000 gravity is 9.81 the system is flowing at 0.3 meters cubed per second the amount of energy the turbine has extracted from the flow is 39 meters we've just calculated that and the efficiency of the turbine we're told in the question is 80 percent so our efficiency coefficient is going to be 0.8 that gives us a final power generated by this turbine of 91821.6 watts. So what we're saying here is that this turbine is extracting 39 meters of pressure head from the system and it's converting that 39 meters of pressure head into 91821.6 watts and that is giving us the answer for how much power this turbine is generating from this reservoir of water.